Oh, hello folks, welcome back to Skylar's survival mode where we are going to be doing the molecular level quest. Let's just have a look at the pit boy here. The swap over to the data. No, that's the wrong button. Okay, there we go. So we need to get this Corsa chip analyzed. But Skylar has a lot of things that she's carrying and we really need to go and find the nearest um, settlement. <clears throat> we need to go to the railroad. I need to dump this stuff. So where is going to be the best place to go? Um, hey Reefman, welcome! I'm just debating where to go and dump all my stuff before we head off back to the railroad. I think... I think what I need to do is probably go to County Crossing. That's going to be the closest one where I can dump all my stuff because I want to take the opportunity when I'm in the railroad to clean it out a bit. Um, <laughs> because when we go through with this, the ultimate aim for Skylar's playthrough is for her to be Minuteman Institute. Hey Jack, well done. Yes, loot. I have too much loot. <laughs> uh, so, all right, I'm going to aim for Bunker Hill. Oh, around Bunker Hill, that was there was that house as well, wasn't there, with all the ghouls in it the other day. And there was a locked door that I wanted to go through, so we could go and explore that first. All right, so I have a plan. That's Preston. Where did I left my suit downstairs, didn't I? Let me just... Uh, hang on, just have a look at Skylar for a minute. She's looking pretty cool at the moment. But I do want some more Institute armour, really. We'll be building up to that. Um, but she's got Ballistic Weave Minuteman outfit, which I'm so pleased about. So I've used the railroad. Completely used them. Yeah, this this guy... Yeah, it's junk. It's junk, alright. I won't be able to get back here either. Ooh, I will take those, thank you. Yeah. I wish there was a way that you could convince certain NPCs from certain factions to change sides, but no, they're all they're all pretty dyed in the wool railroad followers. Oh I think I'll leave them all rat meat, thank you. Um if I could I'd stay well, friends with high rise. If I could, I would convince Deacon <laughs> to change sides, but no, I don't think that's going to happen. It's a shame because I, I used to really not like Deacon very much, I have to be honest. I, I don't like his lying, but when you get to know him, if you've gone through his whole quest, um, then uh, I'm gonna leave that stuff. I can come back, but I know what I have to do. From HQ, right? Yeah, right. Oh, you know what? Preston, come on. <laughs> Are you gonna get in the lift with me, or am I just gonna? Oh, companions. Right, Preston. Hey, I'm listening. Over here. I'm on. I hope I so. One of the few places I feel safe. Oh. oh dear. I feel so bad because I know what's going to happen. I know what I'm going to have to do and it's horrible. <clears throat> I'm with Preston at the moment obviously. Um, he did start giving me his affinity speech uh, but it wasn't a good time so I had to put him off till later. Um, So I'm just wondering whether he, when he's going to pop that one up again. I'm quite happy having him follow me around at the moment. Oh, never ending lift, come on. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Oh, have you ever got stuck in a in an elevator animation. 
where it just doesn't stop. <laughs> I did once, it just glitched out of me. Right. So let's have a peek. Yeah. Oh, it was um I don't know if it was four or seventy six actually. It might have been seventy six. Um I'm pretty sure it's happened in four as well. Right, I just need to get my bearings, yeah. That away to Bunker Hill. Oh, I do not need my gauss. <clears throat> Back to my combat sniper rifle. There were some raiders around there, but I think we've dealt with them. Oh, Preston, you are making the earth shake with that. Cooper mutants in that tower usually. Yeah. I'm not going in there if I can help it. I think since Skylar is level 50 now, it's probably probably worth me trying to stick to the main quest. As much as possible. Um, there is still an awful lot left to do in this game. Not to mention Nuka World and Far Harbour. I am will not be going there with Skylar for a long time yet. Hello Arcane! Welcome! Have you got your cup of tea? <clears throat> right, oh good grief, shake, 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 shake. Okay. Now the house was... Hi. But are you okay? You must be with the minute man. Yeah. I oh. really appreciate everything you guys do. <clears throat> Keep up the good work. Here, I want you to have this. I hope you can find a use for it. You better let me have a look at you. Not many doctors out there on the road. Oh. Really? So you're a doctor? <coughs> Veterinarian, actually. And don't oh no, she's that. from Bunk Hill. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. So let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. You're a veterinarian. I'm an old caravan girl, okay? You learn to take care of the animals, or you don't have a caravan for very long. Then you get ambushed, a couple of friends and family start bleeding out on the floor, and you learn how to patch a few wounds. You learn triage, too. Satisfied? Now let's talk about what you need patched up. Um, I think she's fine at the moment, really. Maybe I'll just Actually, barter. I need some supplies for the road. Let's see what I can spare. So Twitch didn't send Matt a notification. Ugh, that's not good. Um, let's have a look. <coughs> I wonder whether there's a um, an algorithm based on how many people you have watching. <laughs> um, it says if you're worth sending a notification or not. I don't know. I haven't had many people average recently, but that's okay. Do I need anything? I don't I think I might be able to... Jack, oh, you got one after I'd already started. Yeah, okay. I'd only just started when you popped up, so it didn't take too long. Um, what could I sell her? I got some aid that I really don't want. Oh, extra buff hat, buff tats. Uh, extra men tats. Yeah, I don't. I don't use these chems so much, so um, I can sell her a few things. Yeah, that's that'll do. That'll do. Don't worry about it. Okay. Right, I'm not, mm, shall I, I was looking for this house, oh, <coughs> was it down here, no, 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 actually, it wasn't, I vaguely remember, it, well, what the hey was that, it was in this corner I think, there's a bed in there too, yeah, 
Well, you'll do it, Preston. Right, where was that little house? I swear it was in here somewhere. Oh, I don't say I've lost it. Nah, that's <laughs> not this one. Yeah, it's got a Halloween pumpkin looking thing, but it's it's like tucked away slightly. It wasn't a cul-de-sac, yes, Rog. Um, it wasn't down there. It wasn't down there. I thought it was in this corner somewhere. I swear it was. And it was to the right. It was. Did I go? Did I actually go in here? No, because that's. I swore it was in here, but... Wrong corner. No. Maybe it wasn't that side of the... I don't know. I really thought... <coughs> was it down... Was it down here just before we get into Bunker Hill? Sprog's trying to help me out. <laughs> was it down in here somewhere? Ah! Was it this way? No, there aren't that many places. I know there's that. Oh no, where was it? Where was it? What? You spotted a quantum machine? Oh, you're right. Thank you, Sprog, and getting the getting a bit of help in the background here. Nicely spotted. Yeah, it's got Halloween decorations in the window and it had ghouls inside. Where was it? Oh, I thought it was going to be so easy to find again. Um. Coca Cola. Seriously, where were you house? Where it was nearby. Oh, see this the road. Um can you get there from a different direction? Is it up a different side street? Oh, ah, this is it. Found it. Found it. This is the one. Probably best I do stay in my power armour. Abandoned house. There we go. Now I had cleared out ghouls already. As you can see. Ooh. Light level changed a bit. Yeah, good idea Preston. Put the light on because... I like to see what I'm doing when there's ghouls about. Actually, I'm going to use Deliverer. Trusty old deliverer. Yeah. And there's a bed there, so I'm actually going to sleep here while I can. And then go upstairs. Yeah, this is also a free bed right near Bunker Hill. You've got to have something to tell them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, got it. I'm inside. So... I can even sleep the whole the full seven hours. Don't know whether I'm going to get any illnesses from this bed. I shouldn't do. Beds don't give you illnesses generally. I am thirsty, which is not a surprise. Uh, <coughs> I already had the, the tape there. So it was the recording of a woman who was for an experiment being exposed to radiation and you could hear the process of her t 
turning into a ghoul. She was describing... She was trying to, to keep it subjective, but it, you, you do realise that it was... She was talking about herself, eventually. Um, yeah, I think it was this... I'm over-encumbered. Let me just check my stats. <clears throat> I think my radstag... My radstag wore off. Uh, yeah, must have been Radstag wore off. Okay, have I got any more? Two. Yeah, there we go. So I couldn't pick this lock before, but now I can. Oh! Nice. Right, now you just know what's gonna happen. Yep, yep. Of course she's a glowing one. I will put you out of your misery, poor thing. And you will not wake up all the other good barrels who are here. Yeah, that's it. Get in there. Boston! <laughs> They're fast. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, deliver, deliver. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, that was exciting. Right. The tape. Control subject recording. Three out of three. Let's play that. Weird, we get two. Take anything good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that uh, commanding, commanding Preston just then seemed to uh, confuse the tape recording. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, she's. She was a goner. Right, uh, maybe you can carry this for me, Preston. Okay. What am I doing? Getting out of the way so I can command you to, to get Mr. Right Handy Fuel. Got it. Not that Codsworth yeah. ever needs to seem to resupply, but. Bring that here. I'm on it, General. Grab that. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay. Ooh, things I can use here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and yes, and I'm carrying too much probably again still, so uh, Preston, you can have those and those. And um, let's have a look at the flame of fuel I don't need. Any weapons I picked up that I don't need to actually use? No. Oh, precious desk fan, but they're so heavy. <laughs> Preston should be able to carry that. Oh, hot plate as well actually is heavy. That'll do. All right, Garvey, would you please? Hold. Oh I'll no no no! Ready. Sorry, I meant you to actually go there. Do you pick up? Sometimes you have to hit this Good. several times. Get that. Okay. Check it out. Got it. Bring that here. Consider it done. Grab anything useful. Okay. Get that as well. Screws. <laughs> you know 
why not? No. Oh no, that's just where it was hiding. Oh. No, that's just around the corner, okay. Nothing sneaky hidden there. Oh, there's more fuel, actually, Preston, if you wouldn't mind. Hey! Just point me to it. Get that. Consider it done. Thank you. There. Now, did you want to talk? Hey. Go ahead. Hey. You should give yourself credit sometimes. There we go. You really are one of the good guys. Why? You told me that before. Why are you bringing it up again? Well, I'm not sure you really get it. How unusual you are. Since we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you. Both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Even the good ones. But you're different. You really care about other people. Even when it isn't convenient, or even safe. I've seen you risk your life more than once to help people, just because it was the right thing to do. I just wanted you to know that, well, that it matters. That you're making a difference. You just described yourself, Preston. I hope you realize that. <laughs> Quite the mutual admiration society we've got going here, huh? No, but I hear you. And thank you. Let's just agree to both keep that in mind going forward, huh? All right, enough chit-chat, huh? Okay, cool. Well, it wasn't his top affinity speech yet, but we're getting there. We are getting there. And having done that, it's probably a good idea to make use of that bed again. So I will. Just for an hour, just so we can save it. Um. Always take the keys out, because you never know. Right. <laughs> One hour. Hey. Whoa, what the crap was that? I think Preston just fell through the floor or something. Or something. No, I don't know. What was that? <clears throat> Let's go get some bad guys. Oh yeah. Nice. Good. I'm glad I was able to come back here and finish that off. <sighs> How are you all doing today, anyway? Just a black loading screen again. I wish we had a picture every time, but no. Tidying the house. Ready to go home from work. Oh! Yeah, I seem to catch um, those in the US. I seem to catch people who are who work nights often. And early mornings. Jack, you're doing an awkward mod. In what way? Right, why am I dark around the edges? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> ah, okay. Um, right, yeah, we need to get up to County Crossing. So I think to help myself, I am going to use that marker again. Because that's actually been really helpful. Um... Oh, wrong button. I used the seven days to die jump button. Of course I did. Who are you? 
Mandy Styles. Oh, I'm here. Laftogian is uploading playthroughs of Fallout New Vegas with the Dust mod. Oh, really? I haven't really seen much of New Vegas, to be honest. Ah, uh, oh yeah, so they're there, so that means we're close to the... Yeah, USS Constitution, of course we are. But no, we want to be uh, across the river. County crossings, where there's great big... Those big <laughs> balls on sticks are, I don't know what to call it. Um... Uber hard setting her. Okay, I heard raiders. I heard raid raiders and I don't want raid oh. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably the other side of the street. I'm gonna carry on this side. Dang it, carrying too much. No, that home plate was one thing too many. I really don't need it. It's uh it made out of plastic and cloth and it weighs three so nah leave that behind yes yes I know I know caution Jack you stream for four hours that's a long time <laughs> wowzers go across this bridge if we can. You've streamed for 12 hours! I, I don't have the... My real life endurance stat it is not that big. <laughs> I think two and a half... Two and a half hours is my... My warning point. If I stream for three hours like we had to the other day when uh, Bear Sheep and I did Seven Days to Die and we just couldn't stop because it wasn't safe to stop. We were just really in the thick of it. Um, I was very tired after that, so... Okay. Right, we're nearly there. Just need to get to our little home base. We have to go back across the river after this, but um, just desperately needed to get rid of all this junk and actually pare it down as much as possible. Yes, good, good. Oh, went a bit too close to the radioactive place there. There we go. And my nice little cottage. Little cottage. Right. Let's transfer let's store all junk uh, actually I need to get Preston stuff off him so Preston please would you mind giving me everything you don't need now what weapons are you using um, maybe a 10 mil fat man you are not gonna keep hold of that mm -mm. companions or settlers with any area effect weapon are dangerous. Right, he's using the submachine gun which takes 45s. Okay, uh, those pistol take off him because he's got his his um, wind-up one. <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> musket! Laser musket. Um, Beat and Slayer's baseball, that does 37. That does 69?! Good grief. Alright, we'll take that. Um, hey! <laughs> Not that I'm using baseball bats, but... Uh, yeah, let's take this away. Let's let him keep that. Alright. So, 10 mils, 10s, 5.56s, five, five, which we have like one of. And 45s and cells. That's what he needs. So 
he doesn't need 38. Did I say five five sixes? I can't remember. Uh, I'll let him keep that just in case he picks up a um, Yeah, words words are falling out of my head. I can't get out the word right now. One of those big automatic machine guns. Jack, you just wish wish our PS didn't hate mods. <laughs> yes, Matt, words are hard. Even after two cups of tea. Uh yet yeah, some days I just don't word well. Right. Weapons we've slimmed him down. Apparel, you can keep the assault mask. Course uniform. Let's store that because it's flipping heavy. A lot of this I'm just going to store, and um, when we come back and seriously put effort into each and every settlement, um, then I will go through looking for stuff to scrap and. Because at the moment I'm keeping the settlements pretty small. I don't know if that's a good thing. I might I might work on settlements a bit before we actually do the institute thing proper, or maybe in between, but definitely before the final um, the final push, the last act, if you like. Why is that damaged? Yeah, that's damaged. I don't think I can fix it here, so just hang on to that for a bit. Uh, oh, yeah, the meat we can take as well, actually. Because I can cook that up and drop it. Right. Three bottle caps is all that she is that all she gave you? The settlers come up to press and say thank you for your help. And then they give him bottle caps, but oh, I'm gonna get out of this suit. Um, only three. Oh, better than zero, I suppose. Right now, I can store all the junk and all the ammunition I don't use. Uh, I'm gonna. Keep the forty fives on me. Fifties I'm not using yet. Uh, let's get back onto the the right thing. So we don't need the flame fuel. Plasma cartridges I am not using yet. It would be good to know what we've got in stock already, ammo wise. Three oh eight rounds, yes, I can I can use those, thank you. Um no, nothing else, okay. Weapons, all the weapons I don't need, let's go to the top. Uh, that man is incredibly heavy. I don't use mines all that much, I'm gonna dump a few of them. It's hard to choose what to let go sometimes. It really, really is. Um, because I know that when I go to the railroad, that might be the last time I'm ever in there. Uh, as a friend. <laughs> so. I want to see what I can get hold of while I'm there. I might buy a few bits and pieces from Tinker Tom, but okay. Um, 
I'm just actually wondering, do I do I really need to use my power armor? I could maybe leave it here. Then I can swim. Actually, that might be better. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll leave the power armor here this time. Right. So we'll leave that all in there, leave the dirty water in here. This would be a good settlement to to build up quite well, I think, because it's in a good place. Okay, anything that's not cooked. Ah, Nuka Colas, I've got so many of. Do not need to carry that many around with me, I will also those down a bit. Water, I do need all that. Uh, red X, actually no, keep the Red X because I can sell it. Um, I might actually sell the Stealth Boys because I, I am not using them. They don't last very long. And I've got my Chameleon Armour anyway. Let's leave a whisk behind. Miscellaneous, most of the miscellaneous stuff doesn't weigh. There are a few things that do, um, such as recordings. Well, I can I can store those. I don't actually need them. Um, yeah, you do want to check your. I'll leave those. You do want to check your miscellaneous tab every now and again because you can build up encumbrance from a few of these items. What was that? Oh, the, the blah, blah, blah. blood samples. I need to go and sell those at the Prudwin. And again, the Brotherhood. I need to do the Brotherhood stuff before I get really serious about when I finally get into the Institute. Uh, okay. That's still carrying 308 out of 345. That's still quite a lot all these weapons it's it's things like the gauss rifle which weighs 22 <laughs> um and i can't say i don't use all my weapons because i i don't use that okay um i don't really use the flare gun but i don't want to put that down just in case i need it just in case uh yeah I just I just need to be able to carry more <laughs> all the time. I am carrying quite a lot of food on me actually that does weigh a lot. What have I got ridiculous quantities of much ops I'll eat up quite soon because they're something that I can I can gobble and know that uh, I'm not losing any major effects if I'm just hungry um. Yeah, maybe one of those. All right, that slimmed it down enough, I think. So right now, there's no power armor station or anything here. I wonder if I could build one. I don't really want to get building too much just yet, but um, it would be useful to start. see um, warehouse concrete floor I'm just wondering if this is gonna snap anywhere not there <laughs> yeah how low does it go there oh, well, of course I've got my suit in the way haven't I So that is a little bit annoying that that's already that's already sunk into the ground and you can't really put a nice flat floor next to it. Uh, not sure what I want to do with that. That's the problem. What is that on the ground? That's just rocks. Okay. Maybe 
build something out from here like this. <coughs> Very much not straight. Okay. Oh, and that selects the whole thing. Of course it does. I'll straighten that up a bit. I don't know how close I can push it to the house there. Yeah, that's the better angle to look at it, isn't it? Right. That'll do, I think. It's okay, sticking out in line with the workshop. So maybe then. Maybe that'll let us put a roof over there. Let's put this here. I just want somewhere to put power armor station. Of course, I can't put that there because I need to move the flipping power armor. So let's get back in there for a second. Is the triangle? Should it, that no, that isn't as straight as I thought it was. Okay, just get out of this here. Leave it in the corner. Um, where? How's that? It's going to get in the way of my vice, isn't it, Matt? <laughs> green? Go green? Go green? Why were you going green up here? Oh. Ooh. You went there you go. Oh, and it snuggles into that. Okay. Let's have a look. That is still not quite right. Yes, I'm being picky. I am being picky. Uh, I'm gonna bring it this way a bit more. Why does it go green there? Oh, okay. Let's take just just not straight. I don't really know if the house is straight at all, but that's just swing it back over that way a bit, like that, and then this way. Oh, okay. Now that goes red there. I don't know why. It goes green when I'm closer to the workshop for some reason. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's let's do that. Will that go in front now? Yes, it will. So the idea being, yeah, I can use that vice in the corner just about. <laughs> I don't want to bring it away too far from this this building though, because that's. Or I could I could just. Um, I didn't want anybody to walk down there, that's all. Oh, well, the window can be into the workshop, be a bit safer. Alright, let's chuck a couple of these down. One there, one there, or oh, maybe one there as well. Uh, how big this building is going to get. I think just a little bit of a scrappy lean-to actually is probably the best way to go. Um, so we can use the warehouse walls for a change. Actually, no, let's Let's look at the prefabs. No, the walls, the wooden walls. Let's be a bit scruffier. Let's have a solid one at the end. 
And uh, window there. <coughs> Change it up a bit, use a few different ones. Uh, actually, I could still use I could still use the either the barn walls or the warehouse. Because I do believe if I put one of these on the corner, I might be able to snap. Yes. So we can have a little walkway through if we want to. Let's make that like a private little uh, private little walkthrough place. I think I'm only going to be like half building. here actually that might be a good spot for a turret surprise turret so I will put a little fence up there yeah like I said I don't want to I didn't want to have this session as a complete building session so Ooh. that doesn't look like it's too close oh, I don't know that's not too bad It doesn't want to go right up to there. So spin it round, maybe? Will it go any closer? Yeah, I want to get to the railroad. <laughs> okay. It goes... <coughs> Excuse me. It goes right through. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Okay. So... That means, with these higher walls, that means I can stick a roof on. Uh, not one of these scrappy roofs, because they are not very good. <laughs> They're full of holes. <laughs> um, I do like using the warehouse and the barn roofs, so... I will use a warehouse roof. And we shall put it... Oh, let's use a corner. So this is going to be a work in progress for a while. Uh, it's only going to be a partial build, but that's okay. Oh, maybe I should have put a corner on that one. Oh no, let's keep it as a straight. Does that go over there? I'm just wondering how these interact with each other. No, that'll, that'll want to be a straight bit down there. Uh, which way is the outside that one? I know it doesn't touch, but uh, if we get Is that going to clip on or not? No. Oh yes it will. I, if I put that there I probably can't duck underneath it. I can't go. I can't. No, not even if I'm crouched I can't get underneath that. That's a bit of a pain. So that would have to be... That would have to be a doorway. Let's store that. Uh, make that into a doorway instead. That's better. So you can go in there and I want a corner at, at the corner. <laughs> Fun thing. It was in wooden structures. Walls. Now, yeah, let's make it a tin one. There we go. So then we've got a gallery we can walk along. You can see at the end there. And 
can see exactly who's coming through the gate. And yes, I want to make a, a wall all the way around this settlement, actually. Eventually, bit by bit. In the meantime, we've got a partial roof on the go. Held up at both ends. That's fine for now. I don't need any more than that. What I do need is a little power armor station, though. Um, there we go. Now, where am I going to put this? All this way around, all that way around, maybe that way around. So you looking at the workshop? Oh, Preston, are you stopping that from going green? Why is that not going green there? Could you move, please, dude? Could you just go over there? Ah! Why do you want to be here? I, I, I wanted to put my power on the station right there, but you're in the way. No, you can't get up here with me. I'm not giving you any steps. Oh, that's weird. Okay, sideways then. For now, I might change that later. Um. Just so I've got one there. Right. Yes, steps. Steps is something we need. Otherwise, nobody's going to be able to get up, up and down here properly. Um, these wooden steps are one of the most useful things. There we go. So now at least we can get get up there easily. So that's the beginnings of something. It might be fairly open to the sky, it might be just a, a bit of a shelter. Um, actually, Preston, why don't you leave your suit? Can you? Hey, what do you need? Can you go Move here? here? Sorry, I can't reach that. Okay, steps. Go here. here. Sorry, General. I can't get to it. <laughs> Are you totally stuck? Head over there. Go there. Hello, Ian. <laughs> right. Can you go there, Preston there. Garvey? I'm on. Go on then. Hop it. Hope you get. Yay! All right. <clears throat> what is it? I need you to get out of your power armor. Sure thing. Yeah. Leave that fancy bit of kit just here. And uh, it probably needs fixing up, so let me let me just play mechanic for a minute. Because Skylar's actually a pretty good nice. mechanic. Right. Now, you've probably still got the broken bit on you, haven't you, Preston? So yes, I'm going to take the fusion core out. We don't need that to fix it. What I do need is heads up. What, what you is? have? You want to swap supplies? Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, it'll be under apparel. There we go. The left leg that got completely broken. You don't need that. <laughs> Ian getting the armor is MOT inspection. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, craft. First of all, fix. Fix that steel and copper. Ooh, aluminium. Yeah. Is this going to be... Oh. Is it going to be tough on aluminium? I can't repair that. It's not broken enough. Oh, that's quite broken. Yeah. I'm going to need a lot of aluminium. Helmet is worth. That's good. That's uh, not worth repairing just yet. It's only two down. 
also. Uh, aluminium needed. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to leave these suits of armour here, I think. Yeah. But now I've done that little bit of building. I do. Yes, I'm packaged from food. Okay. Black hole food, rather. Did I have a water pump? Yeah, it's there. Oh, the doggo! Regina! Hello! Let's say hello to Regina. She got her own name. Right. Have a bit of a drink. Properly hydrated. Good. What am I going to eat for food? Um... Probably nut chops. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Right, so county crossing under construction. Easy living, this ain't. Nope, it isn't. There we go. That's alright, we can build up in, in this little corner and invite some more people to come and join us and put some shops in at some point. I could put a shop in now actually, but Yeah. I don't know if I have any caps. Let me just have a quick look and then I'll let Skylar have a little snooze and save this. Um No. Yes. Right, trader. Can I do a <gasps> I can do a general trader. I'm gonna do one of those though. Uh I might just do that down Don't know, maybe near the maybe here. So I don't want them I don't want their back to the outside. <laughs> kind of want them near the fire pit. Not very flat round there though. Uh I'll do for now. I can always shift it. Now, I don't have many people. Do I even have a settlement beacon? Do you know I don't think I've even got a settlement beacon here? Yeah. Alright. Power, I'm not sure what power I've got either. I was going to put, yeah, I've put a bus there, I was going to put a water. I haven't put much in here at all, actually. Really haven't. Alright. What I really want is one of those, but I don't have the science for it yet. So, for now, let's put that up on there. Uh, that produces five, okay. One settlement beacon can go on the roof. Uh. How am I and how's my day going? I'm... I'm not too bad, thank you. I've been busy drawing, actually. The last two days I've been... Um, getting to grips with digital art. I got myself a new tablet in June, I think it was. And if you go on my Tumblr or on my Ko-fi, you'll be able to see... Oh, I'm not sure if I uploaded my picture of Skylar on Tumblr, but I... Uh, on Ko-fi, but it's on Tumblr. And I'm really very pleased with it. She's looking pretty awesome. Oh, on the bus! I've never done that before. Let's put it on the bus. There we go, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so because I am I am also one of the artists of the apocalypse, um, just basically a bunch of people who like drawing Fallout fan art, um, and there is every weekend there's a sketchy Saturday where people can send in requests on Tumblr and get their characters, their OC's own characters, um, 
They can get them drawn. That is switched on. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I do a little bit with that, and I'm actually going to be the lead artist one weekend, which is exciting. I've never done that before. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And I have, uh, I'll tell you guys, as a, a bit of an exclusive, I'm going to be doing the Nuka Palette Challenge. So all the colours are, basically it was Sprog's idea, who said, why don't you do a palette based on all the different flavours of Nuka Cola? So we've got like a really bright, vivid blue for Nuka Quantum, and uh, like a sepia brown, and a cherry red for Nuka Cherry, things like that. Jack, I'll do amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Much fun. So people will basically tell me a character they want drawing, whether it's their own character or um, an NPC. And they'll tell me which Nuka palette colours they want it done in. And I will try and do that in under an hour. <laughs> and see how many we can get through. I might have some supporting artists with me as well on that day, so um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun to do. <laughs> Pull out Fraggles Arcane. Oh, one day, one day I will have to do the I will have to do that mix Fall Out Fraggles. <gasps> I, what I should do is I should have a list of all the different fraggles and other assorted characters and match them up with all the NPCs all the companions in Fallout 4 <laughs> oh I know who Strong would be he'd be the the big giant troll guy that I can't remember the name of it's gone um no okay you're giving me ideas stop it <laughs> right what am I doing Making sure there's power. I want a trader. There's five people apparently in three beds. Oh, three beds is good. I mean, five people is good, but three beds is not so good. <laughs> uh, Betty bed beds. Let's put a couple of beds into the nice house. Well, there should be more room for beds. My controls went. Woohoo! The door be open. Thank you. Yes, okay. Hello, people! That's where you all are hiding. Let me stick a bed on the rubbish there. Or the garbage pile. Yeah, lovely place to sleep. It's just un just until I get, uh, you know, other accommodation sorted. I promise. This is just temporary. Maybe I should put one more bed in. I'm going to put a, a, a little tiny bed. For me, and my companion. Companion gets a tiny bed. <clears throat> right, I better sleep. After a... Oh no, I have to actually make sure people have jobs. People, go have a job. You can have a job over here. You can have a job with okay. the shop. Thank you. Lovely. And then when I'm ready, I will be able to buy stuff I need. So. Oh, pop. Yeah, she's she's going to the shop, honest. And I'm going to make sure I get... Uh, ooh. Let's have a good four-hour doze before we go off to the railroad. Jack, you give me permission to use Fritz if I need filler. Oh, bless you, thank you very much. Your ghoul character is awesome. I love her. Feel free to send me more references, by the way. Um, you can always put a request in. It's going to be the first weekend in September, I can tell you now. Unless things change, but that's as far as it stands. First weekend in September. So, just so you've got the heads up. Um, do we need to buy anything? you too scared? Don't be too scared, you just sent me a message, honestly. <coughs> Some Just send me a message. Do it. Oh crap.
You can even you can send it to me anonymously if you like, Jack. I don't mind. Um, you want, oh, are you okay, Mister? Those big ugly bastards sure hit us hard. You all right? You not worry very much. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if you can send an on to the actual artist of the apocalypse, but if you send an on to me, I will. I'll have a talk to the people in charge. Uh, right, get my head together. Map. We need to go to the railroad, which is down here. So basically, I'm pretty much south. Railroad HQ is right there, and there's a there's a way to get to it from the shore. So if I go south. Come on, Preston, let's go. We're going to be swimming. Are you coming? Preston Garvey? Here he comes. Oh, was that wicked shipping? No. Is it uh if it was a wicked shipping container oh there's a bridge, okay. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Let me just check. Oh, the bridge goes to there. That's not that's not the land I'm looking for. I actually want to go south and a tiny bit west, so Yeah, right where that marker is, funnily enough. I actually want to be over there. So we're gonna swim. It's very foggy. Very foggy indeed. Just a bit cautious. Oh, God, I can't see anything. <laughs> the chameleon makes things bright suddenly. Uh... Oh, 45 rounds up. I'm doing nicely. Right, I can't quite remember which section of. Oh, well, that's right under the Constitution. That's not the way I want to go. Why is it so bright? It's really weird. Yeah. South. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not on the right section of coast anyway. I want to be over there. Ah, uh, right. Jump. Oh! Shall we try our luck? Skylar's luck isn't great yet. Um, oh! Boat, actually. Let's try that one more time. Not that I actually want to eat this perfectly preserved pie. Yeah? <laughs> Ian, still level 40 something? No, we are level. We are level 51, in fact. Uh, that's why I'm pressing ahead with the main quest. The molecular level. Because she's feeling a bit butch now. <laughs> uh, I'm just confusing myself with this map here. Yeah, I want to be south. I want to be there. Thank you! Yeah, I tell you, getting getting the ballistic weave armor has made life much easier. Right, I want to find where that way in was, or maybe 
I wanted to go in the back door. Where's the back door? It's around the coast a bit, I think. Oh, I'm heading in the right. Hang on a sec. Oh, I need to. I need to make a note of this on the map. Is the back door this side? I think it's behind me. I'm just going to have a quick scout. Um. Well, you know, I can sell stuff. Um, oh, looky, looky, look. There's also a useful bed here. I'll take that, thank you. Saving whenever we can. If. Ooh! <laughs> if what? If what? I like these little messages you keep finding around here. Be good. I'm not taking the Molotovs. I will take the pistols though, I can sell those. Uh, yeah, oh there's the boat. Oh yeah, the back door's right here. Because I remember this boat. I think I cleared it out. Let me just check. Oh. I will take bottles though, thank you very much. Ah! I didn't mean to do that, but okay, Sky has decided to sit down. <sighs> Just a quick breather. Very foggy today. Right, that'll do. <laughs> yes, I want that bottle. And rum. And a teddy bear. I'm going to leave you there, teddy bear. You're the captain of the ship. Uh, anything else in the cabin? Sometimes there's a first aid box around. Oh, no, but there is a chem box. I'll take it. Hup. Yes, and then we want to jump up here. Doing, doing, doing. And then we want to go down here. Oh, fill up water. <clears throat> and then we can get to the back door. Yes, that's what I needed. Bit of water. Uh, I'm still not high enough level in <coughs> excuse me a minute hang on, light's going up bit of a frog in my throat right, I'm still not high enough level to hack this terminal to get access to that fusion core right there and I think there's a I think there's a workbench, yeah, just there I will be one day. Uh, so now, Ugh. yuck. The state of your boots walking around the Commonwealth must be disgusting. <laughs> you must have wet socks all the time. Yeah, socks. That's something you never find in Fallout. <laughs> they just they give you all kinds of clothes, but they don't bother giving you socks or pants. There's just there's no underwear. Very suspicious. Right, I'm in. Let's have this chip analysed. Oh hi. Yeah. She explained why, but I couldn't figure. Oh, okay. Do I want an Ike's Midnight Vinyl sticker? Do I want a Midnight sticker? Yes, I do! That would be awesome. Really want the freedom, Trent. Yeah. By yourself. Make sure you never follow too much traffic through the church. Just... Okay, okay, when everybody stops talking... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, I know. Um... Right, just, just to fill everybody in, um, Ike's Midnight is the bike gang that my other OC, Vincent, used to belong to. And Arcane Armoury designed the logo for me. Oh, that would be so cool! I'll put it on my sketchbook. <laughs> um, I need to go to my data. I need to make sure there's no other... 
Uh, okay. No, go to inventory. Right, we need Tom. Oh, that marker was just, um... Like, what is... Where's Tom? Yeah, you sit down, Preston. Uh... Tinker Tom, where are you? Not in his bed. You gotta be careful, man. Oh, oh, we've got you there. Okay, dude. Hey there. Hey, I got everything you field agent types need. Even a few Tinker Tom specialities. <laughs> That's good. Yay, bumper sticker. <laughs> um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, I'll barter for a start. Show me what you got. <coughs> That's a good Take a look. <laughs> yes, I will have some. Actually, I will sell you some things first, and then I will buy some things. Uh, I do need to analyze, but is it asking me to talk to Preston first, or...? Sure, I'm gonna do all cells. Um, Ugh, don't even need. Can't do anything with one meat. Wait, right, hang on. Just go through the imagery methodically. Yeah, you can have a moonshine. What else? Psycho, I don't use that. I don't recommend Tom uses it either. Oh, stealth boys, yeah. And... Mm, no, I'm going to keep that. All right, I do want some ammunition. Oh, he does ship screws as well. Uh, I think my deliverer has powerful receiver and sharpshooter's grip. I think my deliverer has been already upgraded to everything I need. Sell it though. Can't really look at it. No. But don't worry about that. Get the ammunition you need. EMC cartridges? Yes. 10 mil rounds? Absolutely yes. I'm actually using Deliverer quite a lot. Uh, 308 rounds. He's only got 12 of those, but I'll take them. Um. Oh, shotgun shells. Yeah. Okay. And I'm 13 caps up, so I might just stop it at that. Tinker Tom special. If you're not yet in combat, increases VAT's accuracy but costs more AP. Ooh. Ooh, now that. Actually, because that's a hunting rifle, it's a 308 at the moment, but I could probably uh, mod that up to be a 50 cal, couldn't I? And I kind of wanted a 50 cal. Uh, being a sniper rifle, the first shot being not yet in combat, that's that would be a bonus. Is it worth buying? What do you think guys? Should I get that? Should I get the Tinker Tom special? This is kind of my my only chance to actually go for it so I'm gonna have a quick look around the oh yeah yeah <laughs> instantly too yes get it okay all right I'll get it I'll get it 
and then I'm down to 160 caps and carrying too much. <laughs> of course I am. All right, that's enough. Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to point that at you. I meant to press this button instead. Hang on, carrying too much, but I... 390 now to 320. That's not carrying too much. Matt, you default to sniper in most games. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm not carrying too much, though. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm not. Has my rad stag worn off? Oh, I need to drink as well. Which I can do that. Right. So, to get it analysed, I do need to talk to just a moment, do I? I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. <coughs> Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yes. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I'm a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? Oh, is she going to be sarcastic with Desdemona? I don't really like her very much. Yeah. That chip in his neck just looked so shiny. I couldn't help it. You have <laughs> one of their chips <laughs> intact? Follow me. Now. Yes. Awesome. Coding a course of chip is a very delicate art. Follow you. Okay, we'll go to the chair. The least of which is losing the deal. <laughs> Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. <laughs> hey, Des. You need something? Tom, we got a course of chip. Whoa! For real? Oh, mm -hmm. man, it's been ages! You hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. Oh. Uh... What can we get off the Courser chip? Those chips have more than just codes on them. Everything from how it's made to what it's made from tells us something about our enemy. One minor detail could mean the difference between life and death for our agents and the synths we're trying to save. Now hand it over and let's get it analyzed. Okay, drummer boy. God. <laughs> Photobombing the shot. Okay. Here you go. All right, Tom. Make it happen. All right, little courser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer and take a crack at you. Yeah, it's not We're that in. little. Chip access. Let's hope the analog connector's a little. You know, I, I killed the courser with a couple of headshots. It's a good job I didn't uh, damage the courser chip, hey. <laughs> Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh, man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Song for him. Come on. Show me that sweet face now. Yeah, we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, whoop. I'm not sure how luck will hold up next time, Des. And agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Cool. Okay. Everyone's all you've been hitting the cams way too hard, but I got yep. my eyes open. <clears throat> I just uh. <clears throat> After all these years. I'd, ooh, aluminium. Yes, I'm I'm cleaning out a bit. <laughs> Told you I was going to. Uh can you get a typewriter for me? Uh where I tell you what, I'm just gonna pick stuff up myself and then uh already carrying too much. Seriously. Oh you can't pick that one up. Oh yeah. Or can I? Hang on a sec. Test you right now. You. Okay. Trust me. Uh. Ooh. 
I like to take that lub scale. I don't use it for anything um, apart from decoration. There's more going on than you know. Oh, fifty caliber. I am gonna get so over encumbered, but yeah. Uh, Preston, what can you carry already? Heads up. Go ahead. Cause stay put. I'm trying to go ahead, but you won't stay still. Thank you. No, no trade. Sure. Here's Good my grief. supply. Uh, do 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 do. Junk. Preston can't carry anymore. What do you mean? No. Okay. I have to do the command pick it up thing. Well, that's a pain. Desdemona, you smoke way too much. Uh, oh, pencil. Actually, maybe I could try yeah. mo oof, modifying that. I don't know if I've got the stuff got a lot for of it. Right now. Makes things really dangerous. Just thinking about modifying that weapon. I don't know if I've got the glue though. Uh, toolbox? Scissors. Uh, Addictal. I'll <laughs> grab that. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna grab everything I can. Yes, I know I'm carrying too much. However, right, hunting just oh, it's just a plain hunting rifle. What? Where's Tinker Tom's special then? There. Why did I get a plain hunting rifle? Where from? I don't remember that. Okay. So it's already got a calibrated powerful receiver. It can have a 50 but we need adhesive, aluminium, of course oil, screws. Uh, it's already got a long barrel. Yeah we just don't have the stuff here to do anything with it which is a pain. Okay. Um, I need to put stuff in a container so that Preston can grab it. Diggins' record is the best. You could learn right. a lot. Did I? Did I leave anything in here? I don't think I did this time, actually. No. Nope. Did not. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here soon. <laughs> I think. Um, actually, I'm gonna put Tinker Tom special. in there for Preston to carry. I'm sure he'll be able to pick that up for me. And we need to head back to County Crossing. Right, what's heaviest here? Let's have a look. Flow torch, yeah. Bone cutters are three. Oh. I didn't realise bone cutters were so heavy. Gas canister, lantern, yeah. Nearly there. <clears throat> Preston, you can have that watch. Ah yeah, the typewriter weighs a ton. So look alive. Grab anything useful. Now I'm gonna deliberately not here. Here where are you going? Oh, around to the front, okay. See if there's anything there. Got it. Stay put there. Take anything good. I'm on it, General. Grab that. Okay. I'll Get just that. hit this a few more times just to make sure that he's getting everything. Pick that up. Got it. Yeah, just keep going. Take <laughs> that. Aye, aye, ma'am. Grab anything useful. Check it out. Okay. See if there's anything there. 
I'm on it, General. Take anything good. Consider it done. Grab that. I'm on it, General. Get that. I'm on it. Keep going. Pick that up. Okay. Take that. Aye, aye, ma'am. Grab anything useful. Got it. We're on the sense guy. Check it out. Consider it done. Okay. Well. Whatever you need, you've got it. I need sleep. <laughs> I need sleep. Not there. Landers can be a bigger problem than uh. Yeah, yeah. Through here. Okay, and you can only get five hours sleep in the insti in the oh, institute in the uh, railroad. No wonder they're all balmy. <laughs> you only get five hours sleep. Oh, hello, Glory. You decided to join me last night, did you? Okay. Oh, I missed that notification that just came up. I'm just going to check on my status. Peckish and parched, okay. Parched I can deal with there. Peckish I can deal with. Uh, nut chops again. Right, so now we have to go back to Virgil. Um, which means going back to the glowing sea. Which means going back to first county crossing, dumping all our stuff. And then going all the way to Somerville because that's the. Uh, that's a good place to go from. Whoop. Right, so I've got up to an hour left for this stream. Let's see how far I can get. I, I won't be going into the glowing sea again this episode, I don't think. That might have to wait till Sunday. Um, in fact, it would probably be sensible to leave that till Sunday. And all right, I'm going to aim for Somerville Place. Arcane said one shot kills are a lot less stressful being a sniper. Yes, they are. I do prefer it if I can just uh, dispatch the enemy very quietly and very quickly. So, now I want to go back to County Crossing. I've still got my marker there, so I should be able to just look over there and, yeah, go that way. I mean, the Look, the satellite ray's right there. It's easy to see. Uh, Preston, are you with me? Yeah. Ooh. Did I? Yeah. Oh! Where can I get up? Not there. I just love swimming through that water. Mm -hmm. This is definitely the quickest route. <laughs> AFK, back in a sec.
And of course the parents ring. <laughs> okay. Back in again. Right. Well, I've got a nice, nice lunch to look forward to out tomorrow. Uh, do, 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 do. I want to grab that. No, I did that already. I want to go over there. Ian, what did you learn? You didn't know was there. Apart from there being a handy bridge I could just walk over, which would probably be... I want to be careful though. There are a lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believed though. Right. Yeah, Preston, I, you said that before. <laughs> oh, you didn't know the... Oh, the railroad entrance. Ah, that's the back door. Yes, they do actually, when you join the railroad, they do actually ask you to use the back door more than the front door. They don't want to blow their cover. Okay, yeah, the bridge was better than swimming. And it's not that far away. At least everything is together sometimes. Alright, we don't need that. Did I leave that beacon? Oh, too close to the rads again. Not good. Hi. What? Minutemen? Minimum patrol. Nice. Hey there. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Hey, it's nice to see the yes. Minutemen around here. <coughs> General. Ah, uh, yeah, that I am. Yes. Awesome. Hey. You're kitted out well hello, enough. Ma Hi. It's a shame you can't do yeah. anything else but say hello. <laughs> oh, you're a Minuteman too. Hey. Hey, hey General. Nice. Hey, the patrols are working. Great. That's what we like to see. Okay. Yeah, what, what I found when I played this through the first time, I thought they, they missed a trick. When you become General of the Minutemen, it's a shame that you don't get a small group of people and say um, that you could send a small squad off to a specific location. Um, yeah, you've got the flare gun. It doesn't always bring people running. Uh, what are you building? I'm, I'm building tea. That's what I'm building. Crispy squirrel bits, and uh, what else we got? A lot of death claw steak here. Grilled rad roach, mm mm. Just what I always wanted. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Sprog's exploding in the background. There we go. And do I have vegetable starch? I can make glue what we like. Okay, Preston, give me all that good stuff. Where are you? I don't know where he's gone. <laughs> Dude. Oh, you there. Good. Look, boing. Stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put. Don't get that. Just get that. I just jumped up there. Hey. Look alive. Okay. What am I doing? You are giving me things. Thank you very much. So, yes. Um. Mm, yes. Yes. And powered radar right leg. I didn't realise he had that. Unless, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe K gave it to him, not just the three caps. I don't know. Now, I need a container here as well. <coughs> um. I usually, ooh, yeah, I know I'm over encumbered. I usually like to have a safe somewhere nearby. So, just 
so I'd like to put a safe next to my workshop. Actually, I might, I might put it just on the ground. Yeah. There we go. So if there's any special bits and pieces, um, then I can store them away. Like, now I don't know if it's in junk, that... Um, those scales. What was it called again? No. I picked up those scales from the railroad, didn't I? Would it be miscellaneous? Lab scale. Yes, it would. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a bit precious. <clears throat> okay, transfer. Um, see, we don't have a we don't have a weapons workshop or anything in here yet, and I don't know whether I want to build it here just yet. I think um, as much as that Tinker Tom special is. Good. I think I'm actually going to store it for now. Until I've got some more materials uh, to upgrade it with. Uh, yeah, I've just got so much stuff on me. <laughs> and of course the ammunition will weighs. I didn't want to use raider stuff on my settlers, so I'm a bit annoyed that those are legendary raider things. Never mind. Um, right, I've got so much food on me, I do not need all of that. Not by a long shot, so. Do need the water. Speaking of water, what I haven't done, and I really should do, is put a powered water purifier in here. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave all that now. So let's see if we can stick a purifier. Do, do, do. Resources, water. Which one can I build? I can build the big one. Can I fit it now? I've put that entire bus there. Ooh. Yeah, maybe the bus wasn't such a great idea. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, it'll go there! It'll go through. Now let me just look at this from a different angle. Oh, preferably so I can look up a bit as well. Alright, I'm not sure what it was doing before. Okay, let me let me try that again because I liked it when it went green, but I don't know if I could get into the door of the bus if it if I put it down it goes green. That might be a problem. Uh, it went green. Why did it go green? Bring it round, try again, no? I saw you, you went green! Even though you were merging with a few other things, I think. Let me just push that out a bit, if I can. It doesn't want to go out very far, there we go. The angle isn't very good to look at here. No. Oh. <laughs> I should have hit the button. I should have hit the button, but I didn't. Alright. 
Oh, you're gonna make me move the bus. Okay, I'll move the bus. But it's got that on top of it as well now. Uh, no, it won't let me move the bus. Okay. Maybe, alright, maybe a smaller one. Maybe two smaller ones, that'd be better. Or three. Yeah, I could probably fit a few in here actually. Okay, smaller is better. Because actually I can get a whole bunch of them in. This is a bit of a water farm place. I know it's only a puddle, but um, you can actually get quite a lot from this place. Oh, uh, you went green. Alright, so we've I won't be able to power them all up straight away. Uh, this takes one. That produces five, so I could power two of them up. One. Ah, oh, you're a pain. Okay, maybe across here. Two. Okay. So now we've got some hey, purification. I just to oh, myself. hi. I heard your radio beacon, so I figured, why not? I want to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. You are welcome. Anything specific you want me to do? I'm willing to pitch in anywhere you need. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let me show you. Go ahead. Does she look like a farmer or a defender? I think maybe we could do with some. Did I plant other things down here? I planted one corn. Yeah. Guard this corn with your life. This solitary single corn, it is precious. Now let's put some more in there. <laughs> Food. Corn. Oh, is that, is that corn? No. Right, and there will be potatoes as well. <laughs> yeah, that corn is the god of blood thing was something um, I think my other half overheard a kid saying outside a games workshop or something but he said it with such passion corn is the god of blood yeah um, but no here corn, corn mute fruit and potatoes are the, are the gods of Vegetable starch, <laughs> the gods of glue. <laughs> uh, let's put some potatoes in. Have we got some potatoes? Please to plant. Yes, we do. We desperately need the potatoes. I'm going to put them at the other side of the fence, though. Gods of nom. Yes. Or oh, maybe I won't. I'll put them this side. Nah, I don't know. I'll put them over here. This can be the potato corner. One, two. Yeah, that's it. That's all we've got. That's all we've got. And they need people to farm them. Uh, so, it's kind of almost tempting to actually leave that beacon on, but then you get more people... <laughs> Nom is the god of food. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't want to have to be dealing with suddenly too many people, so... Can I even reach it? But I can't even reach it. Switch it off. That oh, wasn't very clever, was it? I need stairs. <laughs> I need stairs up to my bus. Maybe not such a bad idea, actually. Let's use the wooden ones. Those ones. Um. Do, 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 do. Yes. I liked it when you sank a little bit in there. Oh, come on, go green. Don't make me use the concrete post on you. I will. I will if I have to. That's a bit far away, isn't it? Hmm. 
Well, the rug trick. Maybe I have to use the rug trick, I don't know. No, let's do the concrete post trick. Oh, come on, go green somewhere. Alright. So we get a concrete post. Um, because concrete sinks into the scenery very nicely, you can put it near the object that you're trying to persuade into the right position. Let's put it down a little bit into the ground. And then when you select all, so on a PlayStation controller that's pressing X and holding, it all goes green. Then, then look, you can sync the object that's adjacent to the post as well because it shares its effect for some reason I don't understand um, so hopefully I should be able to get this I might have to redo this the post isn't low enough actually no let's go do that again circle hit circle to press out so I select the post sink it even further group select Boing. And let's try that again. Now is the the stairs are going to be interacting with the bus as well. So that's just on the top of the bus there. Okay. I want to, want it next to the bus but sunk down a bit lower. That looks like it's sitting in the ground without it being too awkward so then we'll take the post away that's better and I know it's not straight never mind at least we can get up there and turn that off now that'll do me um, that might irritate me a little bit I might come back and <laughs> swap that out later because I can be a little bit OCD sometimes. Right, now what we need to do is sleep to save that progress. So back in our lovely little house here. We need to make another lovely little house for all the, the minute men who stop by. Um, let's get a good four hours. And then we need to get back in the power armour and get to Somerville. Fatigue? No! Oh, you mean I need to sleep even more? Let me eat and drink and I'll sleep some more and then we'll go. Okay. Because it's a long way. It's... Oh, good grief, it's a long way. It's such a long way. It's all the way down there. <laughs> I'll put my marker in. Um, yeah. Can I do it all in one hit? I don't know, I'd like to try. I would really would like to try. Yeah, I will do a snooze. Hang on, I need to eat. Eat, eat, eat. What am I going to eat? Uh, roasted bilac meat. Properly fed. I need to drink. Have we got a sink in here yet? Let's solve that problem. We really should have a sink in here. Um, so we don't have to keep going out to the pump all the time. And thanks to Vault 88, we've now got access to nice, shiny, shiny clean sinks. That's beautiful. Right. Slurp, slurp. And oh, I'm getting hungry in real life. All right. <clears throat> uh, yeah, do snooze, do snooze. Let's do five hours. All good? All good. Let's 
Who just keeps leaving the gate open? Let's, let's close that. <laughs> not, not that you know, there's no gate here, but I think eventually I want to uh, fence that off a bit more as well. Uh, hi, you, are you good? You're running all around, that's great. Hey, Minutemen patrols. Right. Um. Power armor. Preston, you you're gonna want to get back in yours as well. Where have you gone? Where's Garvey Garvey gone? Here. Garvey, Garvey, Garvey. 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 No, you're not Garvey. You just got the right hat. No, no. Where's he gone? <laughs> Yeah, I can hear people running. There you are! Okay, not the right hat. Slightly different hat. Point Preston, you need to get back into... There. I'm on it, okay. <laughs> okay, and clicky fingers. Yes, that was, that was me trying to get Sprog's attention because I... I'm trying to make sure I'm trying to make sure my child eats food you know nearly 13 years old self care is an important thing to learn <laughs> um, better late than never right there we have one now I should probably check and see if this needs fixing as well Yeah. That, sorry, that was me. <laughs> that was my I'm trying to bend my leg. My knee doesn't always cooperate. Ah. Oh. Yes, I I have a couple of people I in my life with the with the name Ian, and they're very lovely. Yeah. Well, I had breakfast, Jack. Somebody else didn't. <laughs> right, I need to get out. Yes, I am aware it's after midday and that the cereal has been sitting there for a while. <laughs> okay, let's take that out. Uh, do I need to fix anything? I need to fix you. Um, brain. I need to repair that, yes. Here in a bit of nosh before proper tea, then. We haven't even got to lunch time yet, so. <laughs> uh. I do confuse my American friends with the, all the all the words we have for different meals of the day. <laughs> Tea being not not just the drink, but actually also the evening meal to us. Uh, lunch before that, and breakfast before that, and so sort of where where does dinner fit in? Well, dinner to me is. Uh, Dinner to me is a, is a later evening meal, it's a bit, if you're going to have a, a dinner, it's rather going out to dinner or having a larger meal. Tea is usually just a bit smaller. Just uh, Supper is even later and 11 o'clock, um, you do take tea at 11 o'clock, you can have, you can have 11s's. <laughs> Mythic Deathclaw, hello. This place looks like a dump. Yes. It's my dump. It's my it's my junk dump. It's a lovely scrappy dump. Apart from my look, I fixed the building. I fixed the building very nicely. I used a little trick to get this uh <laughs> You're a friendly deathclaw. Oh good. I like friendly deathclaws. I have a a friend whose OC 
is a death claw called Rose who talks. Yeah, so we have a very nice little hut here, see? Just wanted to show this off again. Um, welcome to the stream, Mythic Deathclaw. We have probably only got about half an hour left of this maximum. Another day of hard work. Never Mythic Deathclaw, you mean to pretend to be friendly while well, you trick me into going to places with Deathclaw spawns? <laughs> Well, as long as you're nice in chat, you can stay. Right, I need to get into my power armour. Bling! Did I sleep before I get... Oh, flap it. No, I've got to make sure I snooze. You know, maybe I should just put a little cot down here as well. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. Nah, nah. Skylar is definitely properly handled. Uh, properly handled? No, properly equipped to handle death laws. Absolutely. Why is my power armor so rusty? Because I haven't painted it yet. I found it and I ha just haven't put a skin on it yet. And it's probably been hanging around somewhere very, very moist for a long, long time, like about 200 years or so. You know, and I just haven't got around to polishing it yet. Um, AKA, I'm saving my materials. I would like to give it a nice... A nice shiny skin, but I haven't done that yet. Right, so I've saved. Let's get in here. Let's go do the thing. Let's go do the thing. Which means travelling rather a long way to get ready for my next stream which will be on Sunday Sunday at around about 10 o'clock-ish UK time so I did put myself a little marker didn't I? I did and it's over there Ian, yeah I could build a radioactive uh, radioactive decontamination arch Decontamination arch there would be a very good idea. Yeah, again, materials. Right, guys, should I try making this journey in one go? I've got plenty of fusion cores. Should I try getting there in pretty much one straight line? Yeah. Jack says yes. It's alright, my, my brain has autocorrect spelling. <laughs> if, you, if you mistype something I can generally read it. <clears throat> Another yes vote. Cool. Okay. Alright. What? Who said what, huh? Oh, look out. No, I've not got time for you. No. Not got time for you, dude. I don't know what he just said, but it did sound like my name. <laughs> it was really weird. Uh, okay, I want to get across that bridge over there. Jack, you're rushing that section at work. You've got less than 30 minutes till clock out. Oh, good luck. Don't let me distract you, please. Not if you're cheekily watching a stream whilst working as well. <laughs> um, I, I can't multitask like that, I have to admit. Right, now I have to be a little bit careful because I'm, I'm going in a straight line. I'm actually passing through... some areas which I may not have cleared out already. I'm just going to assume Preston's with me. Oh crap. I'm 
I'm listening out for my companion. He's not um, making himself very known. I'm just hoping that. Oh, crap. Not another one. All these ghoulies. Yep, there he is. I heard him. Kachunk, kachunk. Where were you, Preston? Where were you? Right, I need to go to do, do, do that way, so turn right. Oh. Yeah. Haymarket Hall, we did clear out, so I should be able to get through there easy peasy. Of course, good neighbour is right there. And I could, if I wanted to, I could make a pit stop, but you guys want me to go straight through, so I I will go straight through. But if I die on the way, I'm making pit stops next time. <laughs> Actually, if I die on the way, I'm probably going to end the stream. Um, because I'm over my two hours, so... <clears throat> I've got like 20 minutes maximum. General. General. Yeah. Boston Comet has a bad reputation. Yeah. People just don't come back to you. And nobody knows why. Let's sneak then. <laughs> Let's definitely sneak. Cause yeah, we I haven't woken Swan up yet. I've been past here a few times and I haven't woken Swan up yet. So uh, let's keep it that way, shall we? And uh, let's keep going straight forward. Yeah, I thought we'd be running into raiders at some point soon. Here we are. Hey, cheerio, Ian. Thank you for joining. You have a good day, too. Raiders. You don't have a good day. Oh. Yep, I'm still going, Matt. Uh, I'm trying to make this... I'm trying to make the way... Uh, brain. I'm trying to get through to Somerville Place in one run. Good. Oh god, cool. there's another one there, okay. No, that's not so good. Let's try headshots, because I'm good at headshots now. McCready showed me how to do it properly. Whoop! Run. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that got me a bit nuts. Water. Who threw the grenade? Or did the dead one throw the grenade? Let's just have a quick peek what they've got. I'm not going to stop and pilfer too much, but... Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking care of business by leaving. Right. I'm pretty sure I got these guys here before. DB Technical High. That's where I head kind of my other character, Vincent, used to go to school. DB Technical. He became an engineer, so that seems to be a good school for him to go to. Right. Yeah, we want to shoot off this way a bit. Just got to be a bit careful around here. Sting wings, yeah. That's a pool of bugs. Great. Unless they get angry and come and oh, and there's also super mutants, yeah. <laughs> and Big John Salvage, well there's somewhere I don't really want to be too close to. Sneaking. Sneaking is good. Sneaking and not setting anything off, hopefully. But it's put a new place on my map, so that was worth coming this close to it. Um, I th 
yeah. The Brotherhood are busy poking them anyway. So we'll just leave them to it, I think. I think we can risk running a bit. See, there's the... It's that glow. It's that... Oh god, right past the radiation. <laughs> Yikesy. Hup. Is this... I've been there before. Towers up. Quick check on the map. How close are we? I think I'm doing pretty well. Oh yeah, very well actually. Very well. Okay. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Through what was that place? Hmm. Okay, be a little bit careful around here. Try and go in between these two buildings, sets of buildings. <laughs> okay. There's a an ajar door. Yes, I'm curious. Just fair line here in the States. Okay. Nuke cherry and some dog food. Well, just, uh, yeah. That's on the map now. I'll poke that later. Mm. There's a way right through there. Yeah, we don't want to go too close to there. We need to get back on track. And yes, I am using up a bit more fusion core by running, but... Right, super mutants up ahead, so... Um... a beeper. Mutant hound as well. Suicider. Right, now. Nice! That's what we need to do! Always go for the suiciders aren't they've got the uh, mini nuke in. Sorry, that's that word, but you can't not say it because it's right on the screen and it's like... I'm not sure whether that rule was for Twitch in general or just some specific channels because I know you can you can choose to have lists of words that you don't use. We have to come up with a different name for those. Huh? <laughs> Rugby players. That's what they are. Idiot, idiotic rugby players because you don't play rugby with those things or American football actually maybe it would be that maybe it should be American football instead since this is set in America uh, ooh, technical document we like those thank you very much it's a monitored word okay thank you um, Well, we could just call them green quarterbacks, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I did look at that already. What am I doing? Right, get back on track, Sal. Get back on track. Doing. What's this? Cutler's Bend. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is also a little dangerous because... Uh, there's Myalurks, but there's also there's also legendary Myalurks and Myalurk Kings, I think. Regular Myalurk. Yeah, 
Oh, not so Really? You're gonna go after my mate, aren't you? That's not really very effective. Let's try... No, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. Ah! Wrong button! Everywhere! Good grief, okay, that... You just... I wasted a shotgun shell because I was too slow. I was too slow. Ah, yes. Uh, let's get around the edge a bit here. I think maybe a light is maybe a good idea. Oh, I think that's the campfire up ahead, isn't it? All right. Um, we're gonna have to go and in the water anyway. Here we go. Yeah. I don't like going in the water with uh, power armor because it's very slow. You can't fight. You can't run. No, you can't run. I just checked that by pressing the stick. Um, I'm so close. Let's turn the light off again, actually. I just want to be a little quieter. Oh, yeah, we're so close. We are so close. There shouldn't be a raider there anymore. I don't know crazy job on that statue. Um, Somerville! Somerville! We've made it! Yes! Nice! Okay. Preston, I'm sure, will be along shortly. There he is. Ah! That's a relief. Now then. Everybody using the beds? No, there is one bread. Bread? There's a... <laughs> bread! I must be hungry! <laughs> yes, there's a bed. So! We have made it to Somerville Place. And we're going to get a good seven hours snooze. And then Skylar is going to go back to the glowing sea and take that information back to Virgil where we can figure out how to get into that institute next time so from Skylar and Preston and the last time I had clean Mr Somerville thank you for joining us and we'll see you on Sunday at 10 a.m. ish and then again on Monday so yay thanks Jack <laughs> yeah Sky is getting pretty tough now um, yeah and I just wanted to say do do go to tumblr if you haven't already and check out the artwork on there and there's uh, links to my fanfic as well um, but I'm doing I'm doing quite a lot of art at the moment and I'm I'm kind of kind of proud of the one I've done of Skylar recently because she she's in this what she's wearing right now and I'd like to show it off a bit <laughs> so thanks for joining me and you take care out there bye guys <laughs>